okay youtubers this is the angry prepper thank you for joining me on the angry truth channel so today's video is going to be a bit of a i guess a retraction i mean i don't even know if it's a retraction because the biden administration now changed their mind about getting involved with the covid vaccine passports now in my last video on the uh, excelsior pass i mentioned how biden administration wanted nothing to do with the uh, COVID vaccine passports because he said that government shouldn't be involved. Well, it's not even a day later and now they want to get involved and they want to develop, I guess, protocols for this. Here is the big issue, guys, the ginormous issue. Once the federal government gets involved, once the federal government tells the FAA, listen, you guys are going to do X, Y, and Z, which are vaccine passports. They could do whatever the fuck they want. Cities can do whatever the fuck they want with these passports. They can make things a lot harder. Like in Israel, for example, with their green passport, you can only either A, be vaccinated or B, have had COVID. You can't get tested and test negative. They don't allow that. It's one of the two. Here in the United States, they could do the same exact shit. They can absolutely say either you get vaccinated or you have had COVID. And that's the only way you can fly on our planes or take our trains. Now, this is the transportation industry that includes trains, boats and planes. So it's not just the airline industry. The federal government means more restrictions, means harder rules, meets, meet, means ironclad rules, which again, guys, we have to sit there and fight against. We cannot sit there and let this shit fly and just throw our hands up and go, well, they got it. We can't travel anywhere now because, again, in my last video, I mentioned discrimination. Discrimination is going to be through the roof. Now, here is the, I guess, saving grace. A lot of you are probably going to be like, that's bullshit. It is what it is, guys. Bear with me. The black community right now and if I'm not mistaken, I think the Jewish community, they are not looking to get this vaccine. The black community is going to use the um, Tuskegee experiments as their reasoning for not taking a vaccine. And then there are other things. Native Americans also have their, uh, they've been tested a few times with vaccines and drugs like that in the past. So they have an argument as well. So these two groups of people are holding on to these arguments so that they don't have to take the vaccine. And that's the reason why they don't trust the vaccine. Listen, I don't trust the vaccine, you guys know, for various reasons. But my, my reason is a little more broader than just, you know, the Tuskegee experiments. So nonetheless, if these people fight and then they can't get on planes, but they don't want to take the vaccine, well, now you're creating another group of discriminatory people or discriminated people, sorry. And discriminated people are the people who don't take the vaccine or don't want to take the vaccine. It's not that you can't, no one, I mean, a lot of us don't want to. So with this passport, if the government gets involved, which not if, they are. Biden are Biden's administration already said they're getting involved. So they're already making it, uh, they're making the travel industry at home with making tougher rules. I could undoubtedly say right now, Everyone who wants to travel is fucked. I thought that they were, he was going to stand by his words. But again, guys, Democrats. I said it before. I'll say it again. Democrats are destroying this country and they are now the enemy. And they're proving it every day. Every fucking day. Biden says we're not getting involved. The next day, like the turncoat he is, we're getting involved. We're going to have to because the travel industry is slipping millions of dollars in my pocket. So I'm going to have to do a favor for them. Wink, wink, right? So this is how it's running now. And Democrats, I mean, listen, politician guys across the board, politicians across the board are corrupt. That's without a doubt. We're not going to sit here and act like it's just the Democrats, but the Democrats seem to be uh, happy with destroying the fucking country. Look in New York City, Republican run, Giuliani, Bloomberg. De Blasio walks in here. He turns it to shit. Him and his shitbag wife turn it to shit. Then you have other democratic cities. They look like shit, been shit for a very long time. Decades, they've been shit. Why? Because of the Democratic Party. If no one sees that the Democratic Party is not the enemy, 
you're part of the fucking problem as well. Yes, Republicans are probably not any better, but I'm a thousand percent sure Republicans are not going out of their way to wreck fucking places. Right? Again, both sides are corrupt. We know this. But I am seeing Democratic run cities, towns, states being ruined and destroyed because of their double talk. So now, again, guys, back to the whole vaccine passport bullshit and the federal government getting involved now, it's just going to be tougher to fly. Either you take the vaccine, and listen, if they let the testing go, that's fine. But keep in mind, guys, you don't want to be rubbing a swab in your nose every time you travel, especially if you're a traveling businessman, right? Keep in mind that the swabs are sterilized with ethylene oxide, which is not good for the human body repeatedly exposed, right? So every time they swab your nose, this ethylene oxide that's sterilizing the swabs shoved up your nose, wiggled around, and then tested. And you're doing that three, four times, five times a year. After a while, the ethylene oxide builds up in your body. Just do yourself a favor, look it up, look up swabs and how some of them are sterilized. You'll see that there's an issue with it. I'm not going to get into it, but you'll see that there's an issue with it. Other than that, guys, the vaccine uh, passport is now being federally backed. That's bad. That's all I'm going to say right now is that is bad. Because if you want to travel, your only chances of traveling right now is either A, taking a vaccine or getting a fucking swab stuck up your nose. There's like no middle ground right now. They're not even taking the, if you had COVID, you could fly. They're not even taking that. So, all I can say, you guys, for those of you who like to travel, good luck. I'm going to stick to the United States. As of right now, you don't need to be tested in the United States. Though, I think with the federal government backing this, um, these vaccine paps, passports, sorry, with them backing the vaccine passports, they could possibly ask us to be tested and or vaccinated just to go to California. Why would you want to go to California? Bad one. Texas, Wyoming, Montana. I want to get on a plane. I have to have a vaccine passport stating I was vaccinated or I tested negative. Options are getting short. There's one option left, guys. Fight. I keep saying it and I'll say it again. Keep fighting. There's got to be a way we can protest this shit just to make noise. Got to be a way. If you have an idea, please leave a comment in the comment section below or email me at angryprepper@gmail.com. But this is getting out of hand. Anyway, guys, this is The Angry Prepper. Thank you for watching. You can like and subscribe to this channel, The Angry Truth. You can like and subscribe to The Angry Prepper channel. As The Angry Prepper, you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook. As The Angry Truth, you can follow me on Instagram. Thank you for watching.